All right, let's first go over this. All right, this is a, uh, a system that, uh, that I developed over, gosh, 20 plus years. And the beautiful thing about the system now is, is I found a way to get into trades to the exact bar with high probability. And what we did, we recently got done with this system uh, with an arrow-based system where the arrows will fire off automatically at the close of the bar. They are not lagging at all. And what, what those arrows represent is they represent retracements in the market with overall trend direction. Now, the beautiful thing about it is, is that we already set the templates up, and the templates work in all markets. This works in all futures. It works on all stocks and all currency and Forex markets. This has nothing to do with market profile. We do give market profile to traders who lease the system as added confluence with the arrow-based system. But this absolutely has nothing to do, the arrows have absolutely to do with market profile. Okay, This is strictly retracement trading with overall trend direction on major support and resistance with the symmetry of the market. Now, what I'm going to show you at the end of the conference call, I'm going to show you a technique that I use that can pinpoint the highest probability move in that given market on any given day. I want to show you the exact arrow that should be your largest runner for the day um, out of all the multiple arrows that it will fire. So out of all these arrows that fired on gold in this session, I'll show you at the end of the video which one of these guys right here, which one of these arrows will be your highest probability runner. And I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. It's really going to help a lot of you guys and gals out capture um, some potential big moves in some of these markets. So let's first go over what we have. I already said this, these arrows represent uh, retracements in the market with overall trend direction. Everybody knows that I wrote a book on trading seconds or minutes after the news. And that's what got me to develop the arrow-based system. I can pretty much tell right after a news event where a market should turn around and, and uh, uh, retrace. In other words, if crude oil inventories comes out or GDP comes out or the Fed comes out or what have you and the S&P moves straight up or straight down, I can pretty much tell the zone where it should retrace and then I use my filters to pop me in the market for high probability trades. That's what got me to develop these arrows for just everyday trading on a 24-hour chart. So you can, this literally works around the clock, 23 out of 24 hours a day when these markets are open on the futures markets. This will crank out if you match these up, it doesn't, you, you don't have to trade a certain time during the day. You can be in Europe, you can be in the U.S., it doesn't really matter. On any given market, any given time, they can fire off these signals if they meet my filters. So the first of all, let's just break this chart down. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how I put it all together. Let's break this down a little bit. I don't want to keep you guys and gals too long this evening. So... Let's look what we got here. First of all, we have these red dots above price. These are my symmetry dots. This is the symmetry of the market. I originally created these to scale contracts quite a while ago. And what happened was I backed my way into it when I was programming the, uh, the symmetry dots that they actually created major support and resistance in the market with certain uh, parameters. And so now I can use them as support and resistance. And I also can use them to scale contracts. Because when I first created them, you see the blue, there's blue below for support. I don't use these to buy in downtrends. You can scale contracts. So in other words, if you're a multiple contract trader and you got short this arrow at the open of this bar, your stop loss on all my arrows is always two ticks above the swing high. We do not risk no more monies than two ticks above the swing high on the arrows. It's selling. Swing low, two ticks below the swing low of buying. So we can use these symmetry dots. If we're in a downtrend, the blue ones, and you can change the color to these. It's customizable. Scale contracts. So you can scale contracts for multiple contract traders. And what that allows you to do is reduce risk on the, if the market is stair-stepping down. But what happened was when I developed the retracement system with the arrows, they matched up as like a perfect uh, 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 matchup because what's happening now is that these 
symmetry dots will actually get the symmetry of the market. In other words, if you notice, look at the, you can tell with these symmetry dots as they step down, if my red ones on the way down are setting a lower high, we're in a downtrend. Lower high, the next one down, it's a lower high. Next one down, lower high. Next one down, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Then my buy symmetry dots are setting lower low, lower low, lower low, lower low, lower low, lower low. So what happened is, is now it gave my symmetry dots not only an, an extra benefit because now my symmetry dots will tell me if we're in a downtrend or uptrend with the stair step and create natural support resistance. And this is without market profile. This is strictly trend direction trading, letting the symmetry dots retrace back within two ticks. But then that's not even enough. Symmetry dots are not enough because symmetry dots cannot tell you if you're in a perfect retracement. What the arrows do, they, they try to place you in a perfect retracement area in the market based upon previous lows and highs. So what happened is, is now you have a perfect marriage of symmetry dots and error retracements. These are all excellent trading opportunities to get in the market with low risk. So with these trades, I mean, this is a 1302 all the way down to 138. That's a 200 tick move. Obviously, we don't have 200 tick moves daily in gold, but you know, you're going to see days. This is one, two, three, four, five for five this trading day. We had nine for nine on the NASDAQ, seven, seven, seven for seven on crude, um, six for six on gold here last, what, Thursday or Friday. So, you know, this is the same exact scenario on all markets because what I have, these arrows will fire off at the close of this bar. The close of the bar where the arrow fires, once that arrow fires at a certain retracement level, it's going to fire that arrow. That's your entry. Your stop loss will be two ticks above the swing high. You can use symmetry dots to scale contracts as the market ticks down. Now, are all these qualified arrows? Yes. Why? They all came within two ticks of symmetry dots. Red if you're selling, blue if you're buying. So you ignore the blue ones because you want them to blow through the blue ones. You don't want the blue ones to find support. If it finds support, symmetry may be changing, and then you'll look for higher lows on blue and higher highs on red. And I'll show you how that works. I'm going to show you how back-to-back -back days, it was 9 for 12, or 9 for 11, I'm sorry, on crude, just using this technique I'm going to show you. And it's a pretty neat way how to do it. So now that I got the, uh, we just came out with this about, what, three weeks ago. These arrows are finally... We finally got the final version out. This is the final code that is, is out uh, to the public, and we're going we're gonna to run with this the next two, three, four, five years or so on. Uh, but the bottom line, these arrows are so well tuned in with the market is that it's catching these retracements. Now, I'm going to show you if an arrow fires off and it's not butting up against the symmetry, it creates a lower probability trade, and you can ignore the trade. I'll show you that how that works in a second. But... You can see there's two moving averages on here also. Now, I don't use moving averages for support and resistance. I don't believe in moving averages. Uh, back in the mid-1990s, mid uh, two of the uh, uh, top traders that I've ever uh, um, uh, went to a workshop where it was Larry Williams and Tom DeMarc. And those two guys really influenced me a lot on retracement trading and development, developing my own system. They weren't into market profile like I am and so on. Uh, they're more into retracement trading especially Larry, but it really got me working over the past 20 years on developing a system, on a systematic system. So I give a lot of credit to those two, two traders. I, I believe those, uh, Paul Tudor's obviously one too, but uh, Paul Tudor, um, you know, Larry Williams and Tom DeMarc, those are my three guys that really influenced me to develop a system like this. Um, I have a little bit different ways that I do things. I like things more automated, you know, so that's why I have this uh, automated system where these fire off automatically now. So the the great thing about this though is is this is that moving averages are worthless. Okay, and when I met those guys, is that there was a there was a um, a trade show going out there at the time, and I was actually a speaker out at Las Vegas at the futures uh, um, at the uh, Las Vegas futures trade show in November. And uh, you know when I was out there with those guys in the 1990s. It really resonated because during the trade show, I saw a lot of moving average crossover systems. I saw a lot of stochastic systems, a lot of divergent systems. And like they were saying back then in the 1990s, you know, the trend's your friend unless it's about to end and 
moving average crossover systems were great in trend, but they'll kill you in chop. So, you know, it really resonated for me to find a system to find trend, to find retracement with trend at the same time and try to find spots in the market. And I found that when I, I, I spoke in front of hundreds of traders at the Traders Expo as a guest speaker out there, and I, I asked a lot of traders that they knew how to trade this type of system and no one knew how to trade it. So, you know, they're more into stochastics, divergence, the moving average, convergence, divergence, moving averages. And that's just lagging by nature. You, you can't survive in the markets. What I found, uh, not only the toolage that I learned from traders that have, you know, uh, 50 plus years experience, 40 plus and 40 plus, you know, those traders I learned from, uh, it never worked for them and it never worked for me. And I don't know how traders can survive on trading lagging indicators. So that's how I developed this, just to let you guys know. Is that this is a system that has been developed over a multiple of years of not only research, but actually trading. Uh, and this is something that when I put this together, um, these marry up very well. So when I tell you that the symmetry dots create support and resistance, they create support and resistance. When these arrows fire off at a certain retracement level, this is years and years of research on this thing, they will create natural retracement levels. So here's how you put together. We know moving averages are not support and resistance. We use them for trend direction. And that's what I got out of, uh, out of all, all, the, all the tutelage that I went through in the 1990s on learning and then also putting this system together for myself is that the best way to trade any type of market is finding the trend first. That's 50% of the battle. It, it can only, the markets can only do two things. Traders make things too difficult sometimes. They're either going to trend or they're going to chop. And typically, in, in any given market, you usually trend three during the week and you chop two. But you can't give it all away in chop that you made in trend. And even in trend, traders try to sell or buy a retracement and they get ran over. So what this has done is it allowed me to now pinpoint spots in the market. It allowed me to know where to the exact bar to get into these markets, not only as a retracement level, but it has a support and resistance level. And like I said, I do have market profile to assist you with high value, low value, and control point. If they match up with these symmetry dots, which they do a lot to create confluence, but you really don't even need to understand that to understand how the system works. You can literally trade off of three charts, my Sim Rinko charts. And my Rinko charts um, are not minute charts. They're not tick charts. They're not volume charts. They're not range charts. Those charts, do not work very well, in my opinion, because they're very lagging by nature. My Rico chart, I have a certain trend filter built into it. That's why it works so well. You're never going to find a one like this. We built, we actually paid a programmer to build us our own server so we could protect our sim, our, our, our Rico bars. The reason being, you can go to anybody, any forum out there and download a simple Rico bar. It's not the same. They're not going to match up. You try to match our Rinko bars to anybody else's, they're not going to match up. You know, that's why we, we, we have it coded on our server. So, them, uh, so, so the moving averages has created nice trend for us. If we're crossed down this larger moving average, the magenta MA, it's cro if it's angled down, then we're in a downtrend. If my smaller moving average is below it, we're obviously in a, a downtrend because it's a moving average cross with an overall angle. So that you look at the moving average angle, very simple. We're in a downtrend. I mean, it's simple as that. And so what we want to do is we want to look to for the market to retrace the symmetry. Now when it retraces these red dots, we want to come within two ticks. We don't want to be three, five, six, ten ticks away and then have an arrow that fires. This is so accurate, you don't need that. I need to be within two ticks of symmetry. Here's two ticks within symmetry. This actually stopped at the tick, stopped at the tick. This exceeded it. Let's go one by one so you can see them. This exceeded it intra-bar, but you're allowed to exceed it by intra-bar. What I don't want to see is the body, red body of the candle, or the green body of the candle close above symmetry, then an arrow. I don't like seeing that. So I like seeing it butt up against symmetry, either below it by a couple ticks, above it by a couple ticks. But that bar, when it closes and that arrow fires, I don't want to have that whole body of the candle, meaning to open versus close. I don't want to close, okay? I do not want to close above those symmetry dots. So the arrow fires. You would open up, open up the position. Your stop loss would be two ticks above the swing high. Now, you can scale contracts here, scale contracts here. 
So your second set of symmetry outs, your fill's are low this bar. So your fill's at 1302. On the second set, you already made a $700 trade. Just from this move to this move on two contracts, that's a $700 move right there. The maximum stop loss on that was a $130 loss per one contract. So it's a $700 move to the second set, maximum risk of 130 because you don't risk more than 13 ticks in the market anyway. You put two ticks, a hard 13 tick stop, two ticks above the swing high, and then you're good to go. Now, as the market moved down again, look at the width between the symmetry dots. You look for a natural retracement again. It came within two ticks, arrow fired. Once again, if you did not enter this trade, or if you got out, if you scalped it, you didn't enter that trade, two ticks above the swing high, scale here, scale here again. The fill in this would just be right around 1397. It came down to 1391 or 1392. That's another $500 trade for one contract right here, just a maximum of 130 bucks. Yeah. So and I'm going to show you how you can lower your, your risk also, not risking uh, the two ticks above the swing high with market delta in a minute. But then the market comes down again. You want it to break the blue dots because you're in a downtrend. You're not trying to buy the blue. You're trying to scale here. But this tells me right here, if I close below symmetry, guess what? The market should go lower. This is a five right here, Mike. Five, five Simrenko. On all my charts, let me, let me reiterate, on all my charts, I use the five Simrenko as my support and resistance for my arrows. Whether it be a three sim arrow or a five sim arrow, I use the five Simrenko for my symmetry dots for support and resistance. I do not use the three, okay, buddy? Got to be the five. Give me a longer, longer Rinko. So, this tells me right here that the market's breaking down. If you want to take a three sim Rinko short, this is a five sim Rinko trade, right? See how it closes right here below the five sim? No problem, man. See how it closes the whole body candle close below the five sim? Market should crash. See how it closes below the five sim? Market should crash. See how it closes below the five sim? Market should crash. So, in a downtrend, what I like to do is this told me right here, this wasn't even up against symmetry. Let's go back to the whole, the whole trading session. This is symmetry holding. See how symmetry held? Symmetry held. Symmetry didn't hold right here, did it? So that next retracement, you know you're golden. Look how that arrow is a great sell because you broke down in here. Whole body candle close. Then the body candle close below here. Now you can take three sim Rinko shorts. Why? Because your five is breaking down and you're in a downtrend. So not only do I use the red dots for areas to look to sell an arrow on the five or three, meaning if it butts up against on the five Simrenko against my symmetry dots, you want to arrow to fire here on the five or the three here. I also look to see where the five Simrenko is breaking down for big, fast moving trades. So then I come down to M tops. There's another good sell, two ticks above the swing high, stop the exact tick. So this is the whole trading session. Let me blow it, let me bring it down for you guys. This whole trading session, actually go into yesterday's trading too. There we go. So that gives you an idea how the symmetry dots can really help you out on, on any given day. Let's get to the whole day there. Sorry. Get to the whole session. There we go. We need down. So you can see, let's just check it out. But I've concentric century, one for one, two for two, three for three. That's not a trade. Four for four, five for five, six. For six, seven for seven, eight for eight, nine, ten trades in a row. We didn't lose one trade on the way down, betting up against, button up against symmetry. So this one you wouldn't take because it's not against symmetry. This one you wouldn't take, it's not against symmetry. So it just shows you on, a, on the most volatile market, and the reason I show gold is gold is a crazy animal. In fact, if I'm a new, if you're a new trader, I would not trade gold. It is fast as heck. I mean, this move right here from 1306 down to 78, I mean, that's just, it's a $2,600 move, you know, per one contract. But if you know what you're doing, against symmetry and arrows, it's a lot of opportunity. So that's how you use it. But, but notice what, what happens here. I'm going to show you in the next chart how this works. Look how we had lower highs. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So when you're seeing that, it allows you to get in this Nice push with the symmetry. But notice how the arrows just fired off on symmetry dots. 
these are high probability trades, right? High probability, high probability, high probability. So that's what I'm trying to show you is just those two concepts can really help you out. I like to see two within two ticks of the swing high or swing low, I mean, of the symmetry dots. The, the moving averages are just for trend direction. Okay, that's it. Now, let's look, that was the downside. Let's look at the upside. Upside is the NASDAQ futures. Upside, also, this is a 5 Simrico. 5 Simrico, 30 days back. It's like the last chart. Let's start from here. Look what the market's doing. Look at the support. Obviously, the moving averages are crossed up. Look at the angle of the moving averages. It doesn't take much to understand we're in an uptrend, right? So what you want to do is you want to buy symmetry. Now, NASDAQ's a little fast for some, some traders, so, you know, I'll show you some other charts here in a sec, but it just shows you the power of the system. Look how it comes down to symmetry, arrow, arrow. Comes up, symmetry, arrow. Comes up, tries to cross down. We try to have a lower high. It crosses right back up. Symmetry catches it. Symmetry, look how symmetry tries to stop it with an M top. M top, M top, nope. Hold symmetry. Blows right through it, breaks out. This tells you when on a breakout, it should go higher. There she goes. Symmetry dots again, explodes up. So this is how you trade uptrends. It's just the opposite. You want to try to buy symmetry, blue symmetry, on the way up. And like I said, you can change these colors that you want on the symmetry dots. But you see what I'm getting at is I have a perfect marriage of indicators. I got the symmetry of the market that's actually what's happening up, happening with higher lows and lower highs. If you know anything about trading, anything at all about trading, you know that highs and lows are the high of the market and the low of the market of the session. And the entire trading session is comprised of what? What's it comprised of, anybody? Let's have a little Q&A real quick. What's it comprised of? The session lower and session high. What's the one main component that happens in price? Anybody? It's the easiest part to understand about trading. What happens at the session lower, session high in any stock, any market, any futures, anything whatsoever? What, ha what happens? What is one pattern that happens? One pattern that consistently happens no matter what. It's a reversal, but what happens with price? Price does what? It reverses because it has a higher low or lower high. Right, it's diverging. The market's diverging. It's having a higher low or lower high. That's what happens. So that's why symmetry works great with retracement arrows. Because what happens is the symmetry of the market keeps stair-stepping up, stair-step up, stair-step up, stair-step up, stair-step up. So not only are you getting the stair-step up to know the trend's up and the moving averages are up, you've got the arrows that tell you you're in the right retracement. Now let me show you how to put this all together. That's a downtrend, that's an uptrend. Let me show you how back-to-back -back days work. This is crude back-to-back -back days. And this is real neat, all right? This is crude. This is crude one day. This is crude the next day. Totally different, huh? You can totally see how you trade the system. Angled up, uptrend, stair step up, stair step up, stair step up, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high. So buy the arrow, buy the arrow, buy the arrow. It doesn't close those symmetry dots, so buy the arrow. Now, over here, what happens? This is exact next trading day, right? Stair step down, stair step down, stair step down, stair step down, stair step down. So what happened was, and I'm going to show you, these are qualified buy signals, and this works on all markets the same way, right? And this is going down, so you want to sell symmetry and arrows. These are both five Simrakos. You can see five Simrako 30 days back. Make sure you know I'm on the same time frame, 5 Simrico, 30 days back. Watch what happens. Right here. This is where it happens. Now watch. This happens all the time. Setting a higher high, higher high, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Uh-oh. Lower high. I mean lower, 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 low, sorry, and lower high. That just changed the whole market dynamics to get this the next training day. It does that all the time. Okay? Symmetry is regarded to pullbacks in the market. 
pullbacks, a certain pullbacks in the market that I have programmed in my indicator. It's got to have certain pullbacks in the market, and it cannot break that threshold on a pullback. If it breaks a certain threshold on a pullback, it is broken symmetry, Gene. No, I'm going to show you how I put it all together, Steve. You're going to like how I use the nine with this. You're going to like how, how, how we use it. I'm going to show you how to, do, how to do that in a sec, bud. That's, that's, how, that's my little tool I'm going to teach you at the end, a trick that I like to use getting out of the markets. So that told me right there, trend is over, right? See that? Does everybody understand that? See that? Higher, low, higher, low. Buy, buy, buy. Keep buying the symmetry. Lower, high, lower, high. Get off, get off the arrows. Now, so that caused that downtrend. So if, this, if these were given sell signals all the way down, what do you think happened over here next? It had what? It had a higher high and a lower high, didn't it? Now watch. There it is. See how trend changed? There's your lower highs all the way down. See how trend changed? Now I got a higher low and a higher high. These are back-to-back -back days. This is how it works. This is how it's worked ever since I invented these little guys. Since I programmed and watch. Now you have a what? You have a trend change. What do you think the market did? In the market? There she goes. What to do then? What to do, guys and gals? It stair steps up, doesn't it? So now here's the next trading day. What to do? Is that a qualified buy right there? Yes or no? Is that a qualified buy? Yes or no? Takes you a half a nano a second. Qualified buy right here with the arrow? Yep. Why? We're within two ticks, two ticks of symmetry. Right? Higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Uh-oh. What happens? You have a lower what? Lower high. Moving average reverse. Sell symmetry. That's the rhythm of the market. That's how it happens. Okay? So you can, you can marry these arrows up with overall symmetry of the market. It's a perfect little marriage. All right? Now, let me show you how we put this together then. That's just basic knowledge how to trade the system. Real easy to do. Okay, there's three charts that I have in a template for you guys and gals. Three charts. I said I won't keep you long, so this will be our last set of charts and we'll be good to go. This is today's crude, today's trades on crude. So what I have on a template, I have a 9 Simrenko. 9 Simrenko, 30 days back. I got a 5 Simrenko. 30 days back, I just showed you all these charts off the five a second ago. This is the only chart I put my symmetry dots on for support and resistance. You can put it on the three if you want to scale contracts earlier than the five if you're a scalper, but I just put the symmetry dots on the five. My five Simrenko is extremely accurate with the arrows, extremely. So I got the five, and then I got a three over here. You haven't seen the three yet. Here's a three sim. Three sim's a smaller time frame. Now, let's Get the big picture. We already know how to trade symmetry with the moving average. Let's take it a step further. Let's try to see how the market position trades itself during the day off a larger time frame. So what we have is we have here the 9 sim. Now the 9 sim is comprised of this. I got my same moving averages that have my 5 sim and then my 3 sim. But I added a little small MA right there also for trend direction off counter trend trades and trend trades. Now I'm going to show you a trick how I can find what is my top arrow for the day. Out of all those arrows that fired today, what's my top one or top two or top three that should be your largest runner? Let me show you how I do this. First of all, if I'm above all three of these moving averages off my Knights and Rico, you see how the open versus close, the body of the candle is green. See how it's not even touching the smaller MA? See how it's away from it? See how it's not even touching it? It's away from it, away from it, away from it, away from it. This is a hard trend up. You should take all five SIM Rinko buys or three SIM Rinko buys on symmetry dots. Now, on the downside, look how we close back inside 
the smaller MA. Full body candle close is starting about right there. There's your fu the full body. Full body's right around these two bars. Now I can take, even though these two MAs are crossed up, I'm on a counter move right now because I'm inside my smaller MA. Look how you get separation. Separation, separation, separation. I'm not even touching the smaller MA. Separation, separation. On a larger time frame, it's saying, no, it's an eight. Eight, lad up. Eight. Eight EMA. But it only works on the Rico bars. You can't put this on minute bars or, or share bars. It doesn't work the same. You get chopped up. It's cool how it works on my Rinko bars because remember, my Rinko bars, I got a trend filter built in. None of these other Rinko bars got a trend filter built in. That's what's cool about my system. Now, you can take all five SIM cells now all the way down. Five SIM cells. Look how it came back up. Now, see how the body open versus close right here? See how it closed right on the smaller MA? That's still a cell signal. Why? Because the body of the candle did not close inside of it. So it's still below all three. And there she continues down. So then what the market do? So there was your bias long. Take all five and three SIM trades with the Rinko bar up. All five SIM trades, Rinko bar down. Here we go. All five SIM trades. Look how it closed back inside of here. Right here is the first one. Here is all five Simrico and three Simrico trades with symmetry dots all the way up. So that, now what you've done is this. Now, not only uh, do I have the symmetry dots backing me up off of a five Simrico for major support and resistance that can stop the market all by itself. Consequently, I got my arrows that have to fire within two ticks. That's extreme accuracy. It cannot close a whole body candle above when the arrow fires. Not only do I have a small stop, two ticks above the swing high on an arrow after fires, or below, two ticks below. Now I'm using a large, large Rinko. This is a large Rinko for inside or outside of my MAs, right, to fire the arrows. Now, let me show you a great technique. And this is where you can really do well with the system. One of the top trades today here. Oops. Right there. Right here. Right here. Oops. All got arrows to get these off of five and a three. Right here. We all caught them, all at the low of the swings. Now, let me show you how this works. This is where my five and three Rinko bars caught the major trades. So out of all those arrows that fired, if you would have took these trades on some of the trades, I'll fire it up here too. Have a look. If you would have took those trades, you had a hell of a day today. Now let me show you how it marries up. This is kind of cool. What happened was that on we broke down symmetry off the five sim right here. We broke symmetry off the five sim right there. Whole body candle close. Right? So we broke symmetry, but look what also happened over here off my nine sim. We closed inside of my eight. So now we're in a downtrend, a corrective wave. And we're in a what? We're screaming down on the five cents. So what I want to do? Sell the first set of symmetry. My nine agrees with my what? With my five. This is a, this is a nice $500 trade that happened for us today. The easy way to find a way to get in retracements. If you start screaming down, red, 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 it pauses green. It can only be one bar greens, fine, or two bar green, three bar greens. Focus, I mean really focus on that five sim retracing to symmetry. This is exactly where it retraces. The symmetry dots are right here. This is a $500 trade right here. Look out stop right at the 50 level. This is the 50 level. Why? Because look at the separation you got I taught you about on the nine cent. Look how hard we're moving down. This happens all the time on a week-to-week -week basis. Look how the separation we got. Not even close to the eight. 
And what happens? You first get the first retracement. Buyers step in. It's telling you to watch. Once a green bar comes in, you're looking for your five sim or three sim to fire an arrow short. There's the first $500 trade to fire in the trade. Now let's look what happens over here in the afternoon. Look how we get now. Let's look at this next buy signal up. We move up. Look what happens. Look at my nine sim. My nine sim does what? My nine sim. It gets back inside of it, right? It gets back inside of it right here by a whole body candle close. Almost that one right there too. That started the trend up. Started the trend up. Even though the larger moving averages are down, it's telling you possible move up in the market. Watch for the arrows to pop you in with a small stop. There I got separation. There's buyers in the market. Separation, separation, separation. There's tons of buyers in the market. Separation, separation, separation. Red bar. Red bar. Look for the first retracement pop in the market. First retracement comes here. It catches my three sim, catches the exact low. Here's the exact low. If you look on that all the way, the 1254 here, it moved it up all the way up. That caught it. That caught that one right there. The market explodes. Takes off. Right, right here. I'm sorry. Another $500 trade. Back-to-back -back $500 trades right there on crude oil. You can cherry pick that way all day long just doing that. Watch for the extreme uh, buying pressure, selling pressure off the 9 sim and then watch for my 5 and my 3 arrows to fire you in the trade at that first retracement. It works crazy, crazy good. So let's look at this right here. Right here at 1118 or 1118. This is where the, the, the 3 fired. It first crossed over there and caught the big one. Let's look this morning at 1032. I want to show you how symmetry caught that. Let's look at the nine first. Look at the nine. Let's see how it came back inside. It came back inside right here on a retracement. Whole body candle started right there. Getting separation, separation, big separation away from the MA. There's your first retracement. Let's go check out the five on symmetry. Did it catch that one too? Sure did. There it is. M top, M top in a downtrend right there. Caught another, what was that one? 25, 75, 500, almost a $500 trade there again too. Three back-to-back -back $500 trades based upon using the nine, firing yourself in, and look how symmetry caught this. This is where the three fired. Three fired right on the symmetry trend change. Three fired here today. Brought that up. So what I'm saying is you can use the larger 9 sim even though I'm showing you how symmetry works great, right, off of just using symmetry dots and the arrow. I'm going to show you how you can find a sweet spot off a of 9 sim. I'm going to tell you right now. The biggest trades that you're going to see that sweet spot in the market are going to be in a pause in the market. It's going to be here. It should be the best retracement. It's going to be here. here. The arrow is fired. It's going to be here. Pause in the market. See how first gets back in? Pauses. It tries to fake traders out. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what days you look at. Let's go back to the day before. Here, right here. Hard move up. It's a sweet spot trade right here to pop in. Look at the separation you get. We're separated. Separated. Buy, 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 buy pressure, buy pressure, buy pressure, buy pressure, buy pressure, buy pressure. Retracement. Arrow fires here off of the five sim, off symmetry dots. And that mark removes from 50 all the way to 65 again. 66, I'm sorry, for another $500 trade. It's almost a 50 tick move when you play it like this. By watching the, uh, the switch up right here too. This was a five sim sell right there. Got back inside, whole body candle close. Tries to fake traders out with a little green positive buy imbalance does it you get a red cell at the top 50 all the way down I mean 80 all the way down and you got another almost $400 trade almost 500 on that one too you can use the nine sim to cherry pick these trades it's pretty crazy how it works and you can do that all day long right here great time for a trend change right here right there's a trend change arrow cell arrow cell so 
You can use a 9 sim, in other words, guys and gals, to pinpoint where the 5 should fire with symmetry. And that's using a large Winkle bar. So now I'm trying to show you how you can use how to cherry pick these arrows. These arrows by themselves and symmetry dots are killer setups. I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to show you exactly when they should fire, before they even fire, before they even come up to symmetry, before the arrow even fires. Because my 9 sim should show a transition. We should see a transition in the market like here. We should see a transition in the market below that 8. We should see it before the arrows fire. We should see a transition right after you cross inside that eight or if you cross back inside or outside right there. You should see a transition in the market. Here, you should see a big five sim trade. Here, you should see a big five or three sim trade. You on the retracement, big five or three sim trade. That's how you can cherry pick these markets. It's absolutely phenomenal when you're using a large time frame. So that's why we put it up. That's why we put a 9, 5, and 3 next to each other. Okay? And like I said, we give you market profile, guys, for added confluence. If you're up against symmetry dots, right? If you're up against symmetry dots right here, and the low value areas right here breaking down retesting, happens all the time. You know, if your market profile just broke down and retested and symmetry dot, it just tells you it's confluence. A lot of traders get confused about market profile. They can't understand it. Use it as confluence. Use symmetry and the arrows and my trend filter on the 9SIM as your main indicator. Because if you use my 9SIM, you cannot get on the wrong side of the market. Because if you are trending up and angled up above the 8, you're in an uptrend. Angled down, you're in a downtrend. And if they're all flat sideways, flat as a pancake sideways when you're not even moving up or down, then you should trade no markets or no retracements because then you can just trade market profile from the highs to lows. It's that simple. Okay? Everybody clear on that? Everybody clear? I wanted to show you all three charts, how they work with this big, big long-term trend filter. It works great all by itself on the five. The five symmetry. But use the five symmetry dots to tell you when the market's going to break down, too. I got traders in the room that will short this bar right here. They will short this bar right there when it breaks symmetry for the first time. At meaning a lower high, it's been a higher low all day, and it sets a lower high, and it breaks symmetry. I got traders that will short that bar and go two bars up and put their stop two bars up right there and short the market right here because it broke symmetry, even without the arrow, based upon my... Rinko bar over here transitioning by nine cents. Happens all the time. All right? But to make it simple, you can just use symmetry with the arrows. No, it's, the market depth gives you confluence. Absolutely, Mike. Market depth will give you confluence. In fact, market profile on, let's say that we are flat as a pancake and my large time frame's flat as an arrow sideways. We're going sideways. Then you just sell the high and buy the low market profile. You don't need retracements, right? Because you're in a flat range market. You get that about two days of the week. So you just sell and buy the lower high. But if you're angled down, you better not play around. You better sell symmetry arrows, buy symmetry arrows. I got some traders that just wait until we're angled up or angled down in the morning. It happens about three out of five days a week. And when it does, they'll just sell symmetry with arrows. And that's the trading plan. I got other air, uh, traders that will trade chop and range. If you trade chop, 9 sim is sideways, moving average roll sideways, flat, then sell the high, buy the low. Yeah, there are a lot of traders still do that. The, the system now just works around the clock, Mike. Yep. The optimal time is 7.30 to 10.30, Eastern Standard Time, for, uh, uh, for U.S. traders. But you can, you can do it around the clock. All right, any more questions at all?